he has requested some footage of CLS versus Revan and Arena. I'm going to pick this middle guy. I tried to go on the right earlier and he was super fast. I'm not sure exactly how fast, but it was too fast for me. Uh, so I'll try to get in the middle. As you can see, I'm in the 30s, so this is uh, top 50, sort of a battle. Get too much higher, the Revens are too much faster. I uh, don't get time for R2 to um, hide everyone in the stealth. So basic strategy, first things first, always hit Joe Lee first. The reason we're doing that is because hopefully he can uh, resist some of the debuffs, which gives some more turn meter to the rest of the team. I then have hidden everyone behind R2-D2 so that Revan has to target r 2 duty with his marked. Next piece of the puzzle, we're going to use the ability block on, on uh, GK, so he can't um, put his taunt up. Next, we're going to try and zerg down dear Yoda. So we get our nice mass attack from um, C-3PO. I like using the uh, Chewy remove everyone buffs attack. Uh, not really sure why I just like it. We're in a bit of a problem now because Revan hasn't applied his marked yet, so we don't want anyone coming out of stealth. So I'm going to use Han's basic rather than his special, which is normally better. And now we're in trouble because CLS has come out of stealth before Revan has marked anyone. So uh, there's a chance that he'll mark CLS, and if he does, things are going to get a bit trickier. So things are going to get a bit trickier. What we have to do now is just hope that CLS survives. Notice what we're doing now is that we've procced Saviour, so Jolie has died, uh, Yoda has died once. So what we're doing now is we're trying to take down Jolie as fast as we can. So CLS is out of the picture. Chances are we're not going to win this one. Uh, but you never know. Let's just keep zerging down Jolie. So Jolie's gone, that's good. Now, I could go for one of the others, but probably um, GK is going to come back online too fast if I don't zerg him down. So I'm going to pick him. See what happens. That's good. Han resisted the stun, which gives us half a chance. So we've got to just keep on going, keep on going. Try and zerg down GK, as I said. Good, he's gone. No, so Yoda's gone to stealth, so we can't even think about targeting him. But if we can take Revan down, we've got a really good chance of uh, snatching this one back. Not a 100% chance, but a good chance. No, I'm putting R2-D2 back uh, in the firing line. He's the one that I want to yeah, take the second mark. That's brilliant news. So let's hit him. He's obviously not going to get stunned. But he's down, so that's good. Now let's see if we can take down Basti. This match is definitely not won, by the way. Uh, Yoda still being there is a huge issue. He's such high DPS. And look, he's going to be able to start hitting the, uh, the core of my team again now. And now we've just got a Yoda left. So we've got a good chance now, let's be honest. Hopefully if we can stun him. Yeah, game's over. So there we go. That's how you take down a pretty high quality uh, Revan team with CLS. As I say, always target Jolie first. If Revan's got near full turn meter, then you stealth with R2-D2. If his turn meter is less than near full, you might want to hang off and do it second time around. Otherwise, the stealth will have worn off. The key really is trying to get him to uh, put his marks on R2-D2. If he puts on CLS, it's not the end of the world. If he hits Han or Chewie, you're completely screwed. Um, you might as well uh, forfeit the match at that point. After you've um, put R2 in stealth, always put ability block on GK. Uh, and then go to town on Yoda, go to town on Jolie, finish it off. What I'm going to do now is just run you through the Zetas so I can tell you which ones I think are important. So, first things first, uh, CLS, the it's call to action of Zeta, I can't even remember, no, I don't think it is. So, the leader is almost essential. That extra 5% turn meter for every resisted uh, debuff, it absolutely fuels your team, lets you go that little bit faster than them. Learn control, when he doesn't have the call to action, he has 50% critical avoidance, 100% tenacity. It's actually pretty useful, as you see, if he gets marked, then it's very useful for him to be able to survive a bit longer. He died in that one, so I'd say it's not an essential, but it's a nice to have. And this one, uh, again, is very, very useful, but any turn meter game is great. So I'd call this very useful, not essential. We go to C-3PO. Um, I haven't even bothered filling his Omegas because they're stuff to do with like Ewoks or some such nonsense. Got Wait For Me. This is the one that gives C-3PO and R2-D2 translation. This was crucial for me when I had a low star C-3PO because it meant that uh, R2... No, yeah, R2-D2 had... No, C-3PO, sorry, started with translation, which meant he got 30% more max health, which meant Chewie 
guarded CLS and Han, which is crucial. Uh, having translation is also nice because then when he does his mass assist, R2G2 will come in. And then the other one, oh my goodness, Inflex confused twice. To be honest, I'd say this is less important than uh, the other Zeta, even. I mean, having the second one means they can't counter assist or gain bonus turn meter. Yeah. Uh, how often does that come up? I'm not sure. Um, another highly recommended but not essential. Chewbacca has this one, immune to ability dot block cooldown increase. Ignore it. If he's getting hit, you're in trouble. So very low priority for this team. Uh, next one, whenever Chewbacca deals damage to an enemy, uh, Chewbacca and guard allies, again, really useful if CLS gets hit because Chewbacca can then help him recover a bit of health. Uh, I think Mark lets you do that. Um, it does Mark, I'll check Revan. Does Mark let you regenerate health? If Mark prevents, you know, I can't see on here. So let's go to the next guy, R2D2s. So there's one that everyone always does. Number crunch, definitely do it. Gives all the stuff. Protection, offense, max health. The potency is actually bad because you want them to resist the debuffs so you get more turn meter. Uh, whenever your light side alley scores critical hit, spell debuffs. Uh, it's nice to have, but I don't think that you get that many debuffs that you need to care about from a JT. J uh, Revan team, and you definitely, definitely, definitely want the um, Zeta on Han Solo. So let's quickly look at the marked for Revan, because if it prevents healing, then there's no point in doing either of Chewie's uh, adds buff immunity, blah, 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 marked, increased cooldown. Okay, so it doesn't prevent healing, so it's worth doing one of Chewie's Zetas, but not the other one. So overall, definitely do Commander Luke's uh, leadership, definitely do Chewie's one that gives you protection gain, definitely do Han's, definitely do R2-D2's boosty one. Um, everything else is nice to have. Chewie's second one is definitely not required at all. Um, potentially, uh, I'd recommend you get the rest. As you can see, I've got 10 Zetas in total. Um, let me know if you want another video.